Let's get started. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is August the 6th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 109 of this year. And it is episode one. I just want to emphasize, this is the first installment of a series. It's like a family vacation that the EPF is taking here in Delaware State, right? So I don't really know how much time I will have to, I'll have to do some fishing. You know, we may be hopping multiple spots in one video. The story short, I'm here with my sister, my brother-in-law and Creeper Kid. I wasn't really aware of this vacation trip until like a few days ago, right? They invited me to come and I was just like, you know what? It is Delaware State. There are plenty of places down there to fish. So why not? First stop, I'm here at a pier in Cape Henlopen. Never fished this place before. Saw a few subscribers before I started filming this video and i only have like two hours to fish this place right so i'm i'm wondering how you know what different species are around this area are people even catch catching some fish at the end of the pier i just gonna set up a few rods i got some leftover clam from my new jersey trip here with me and we will see you know what is going to show up so stay tuned hopefully we will catch some fish today so first things first, every time I come to a new pier, I always check the pilings of the pier right here. This is a little secret that I usually don't tell a lot of people, right? But sometimes when you fish on sandy flats, rather than casting your stuff all the way out there and thinking that the fish is all out there, sometimes the fish is actually all under the pier. So as far as you, you know, get some structure and you cast under the pier, you should be able to land some fish. Ah, this is not good enough. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. You guys here to fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, you really fishing right here? No, not here. Oh, not here. Gotcha. So today, you, so today you're just hanging around the area? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm filming today. I'll be here for maybe two, three hours. Did you guys see anyone catching anything? Nothing. Nothing. What do you use? Oh there? man, I mean it's my first time here too. Oh, yeah. using like worms and stuff. What do you use? I gotta use clams. We'll see, man. Yeah. Maybe I'll land something. You know? Call, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You guys have a nice day. All right. There's a lot of crabs around the area. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going, bro? Good. 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 Thank you. You fishing? Yeah. Yeah, how, how, how have you been doing so far today? Ooh, horrible. Oh, really? It's I mean, that's what everyone's been telling me, though. I mean, it's my first time out here, and the folks were walking out. out here too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, this is your gear? Yeah. Oh, so you're going for the flounder. I'm going for anything that bites. I oh, caught a 19 inch flounder yesterday morning. Oh, all right, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's like a keeper for here. Uh, yeah, 16. I, see. I ate it too. Good, good, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so first hardships of the day have already surfaced. I'm on a time constraint <laughs> to catch some fish here, and I just realized I forgot all my fishing reels in my other bag, which is in the car. And my brother and my sister-in-law, uh, my, my brother-in-law and my sister are not here at all. So I need to go to the tackle shop now and either rent some fishing tackle or buy some reels. And then we're gonna get some fishing done. Let's see what he got. I'm back, man. So what is like the cheapest reel that you got here? Um, yeah, like the cheapest, cheapest reel. Or it's like, uh, we have or do you guys rent only reels or something like that? Uh, we rent uh, the P Flugers. We is it only for the- For $15 for 24 hours. Oh, all right. So you rent something like that. Yeah, we have oh. the rig on too. Okay, that's good. I'll rent one of the... Uh... So there you go, folks. Uh, meet my new fishing combo for two, three hours. The P Fluger Try-On. It's actually a P Fluger combo. Look at that, man. It looks like it's equipped with like, holy cow, like 20 to 30 pound test, man. 
mean, this tackle shop, they want to make sure people really don't lose this rig, all right? Dang, it's like a double croaker, double croaker rig right here. Okay. Well, all right. I guess since this is a new rod, unreal for us. Let's see first how's this cat, the castability of the beast. The drag. Drag is all right. Okay. All right, castability not bad. <laughs> the line. It's like almost gone after you cast, but that's all right. I mean, if you don't hook it in a ray or something, just a little croaker, shouldn't be a problem. Temporary setup for two, three hours. That's gonna work. Oh, dang, what do you got there, man? Whoa, dude, you caught a fish. They exist, man. Yo, they exist, bro. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Yeah, man. All oh, using the little bites. Oh, a little spot croaker, man. Delicious. And you start moving away from the bear. And there you go. You fake death, man, and the, and the bear is pissed? You may just as well, you know? You fake death. Is that eight inches? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a nice Atlantic yeah. croaker, man. Do you do when a but uh, I don't think that's eight inches, man. I don't what do you take do them? when a wild Oh, you don't want to take them? So you're just going to release them? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a shot. Let's take a shot at least then. That's great, man. You're good to go. It's a spawning too. The milt came out, you know, little white thing. No, no, it's eight inches. It's gotta be eight inches, you know, that's not eight inches, man. Boom. All right, good, man. Well, keep hanging open pier. Didn't treat us real good, you know, as you guys saw in this video. And to top it off, right, when it comes to like family fishing, family vacation, I only had three hours to really explore the pier and try to catch some fish. And by no means that it is enough time. It, it is tough when you fish like for the first time on a fishing spot with a time constraint, right? So this is what happened. Yesterday, my brother-in-law caught one Atlantic croaker, <laughs> the Micropogonias undulatus. I saw a few people land a few spot croaker, the Leostomus anturus. One person landed a small summer flounder, the Paralictis dentatus, and that was it for three hours on the pier. By the time we left, the croaker had just moved in and people were actually catching them. Well, anyways, we have hot spots. Now I'm here at this place called the Indian River Inlet. And as much as I wanted to fish here the whole day because this place just looks so beautiful, I only got like three hours to fish here. So I don't know what is going to happen. I just bought some shrimp. I gotta bait my thing, my stuff with shrimp and whatever comes up, comes up. Very ad lib video so far, as you guys probably realize. I apologize for that. But you know, I figure filming something is still better than not filming at all, right? So let me get, let me get geared up. Hopefully we're going to land some fish. All right, first cast. Oh, damn, dude. Deep. Very deep, dude. Holy cow. 10, 10 15 feet. I was about 15 feet. I'm using two ounces, by the way. It's really slowly coming up. Knew from the moment I saw the beast that this was going to be a big ass horseshoe. Biggest one I've seen in a while, too. Why? Why do you do this kind of stuff to me, man? Go first catch of the day. Beast horseshoe. How the heck? How the heck am I gonna how the heck am I gonna land this dude? That's that's the main that's the main question here. <laughs> you know? Okay, we are good. Big ass horseshoe crab, man. 
first catch of the day, huh? Why? Why why are you gonna do this stuff to me, huh? Why? Why are you gonna go get my bait down there? I don't understand. Why are you gonna do that, huh? The worst part is that this is not just any horseshoe. This is the biggest horseshoe I've ever seen, man. You know what I'm saying? And I see that the inlet is treating me really well. Look, this is not just any horseshoe crab. This is gonna be one of the biggest ass horseshoe crabs I ever seen in my life. Probably live like hundreds of years. Look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. He really wants to go. All right, we're gonna put him back. I want this horseshoe to go away nicely. So let me just uh, throw it out there. We'll just swim away. Oh, got a hit here. Oh yeah, fish on. Got a hit here, I think it's a croaker. It's gotta be a croaker. That hit power, yeah. First Atlantic croaker coming up here, beautiful. Now is it going to hit eight inches though? That's the thing, you know? It's gotta be at least, at least eight inches for you to take this croaker, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nine, a nine incher for you right over there. Always measure, make sure. I gotta kill the fish now. We got some dinner, boys. Oh, my brother-in-law got a bite. Is it on? Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yes, what's up? We're fishing. What's going on? He, he, he's really, he's really a fish right now. Que isso? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay, all right, bye-bye. Your fishing time is over, bro. She said for her to go back. Because you left your wallet there and everything. And your son is running around and she can't really leave whatever spot. Yo, that's an eight inch plus two, I think. Let's let's measure it. That's an Atlantic croaker. Almost 10. Oh, almost 10. Yeah, that's a that's a taker, man. Put it in the cooler, bro. First fish of the day. Look at that. Yeah. Son. You guys see now what I was talking about? Family fishing. Bro, he just came here and the wife already called. Said need to go back call one croaker that's it end of fishing session Woo, boy Oh, damn, dude. Oh, it's on. Wow, the croaker are definitely here. Croaker are definitely here. This was like more like an instant hit. That's awesome. And if they're all of them are eight inches plus, I'll be delighted. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like an eight inch plus, sir. Not bad, not bad, man. Good sizes, good sizes to this croaker. Biting real good on the shrimp down there this seems to be the lure of the day for this fish let's see here yeah nine nine incher awesome hey man do you have a youtube channel yeah i do how's it going Are bro you from jersey i'm from philadelphia philadelphia okay yeah. i just started watching your videos oh thanks man i appreciate it leo leo dave yeah. nice to meet you man my channel's name is extreme philly fishing Extre yeah that's what it yeah. is okay. we were just watching your video a couple days ago i'm glad to hear how has you how have you been doing so far uh, we just were on the drive on today oh okay just wanted to come out here maybe fish for some croaker what are you targeting i see yeah same thing i'm croaker. just catching some croaker Anything. yeah we came here about 
two hours ago when yeah. the coker action was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. the tide is ripping, you know. Yeah, so I gotta yeah. wait. I'm gonna try the yeah. other side. I caught a croaker the other. I mean, day. one dude over here said he caught a few stripers under the bridge. That's what I, I have too, but it was like a fluke. I was just like okay. playing around and I see. Yeah, nothing crazy. So. Gotcha. Good luck, man. Yeah, thanks, man. You. Yeah, thank you for the love and support, bro. Have a nice day. Oh, got a hit. Oh, it's on. It's on. Dang, they're biting good, man. They're biting real good. Croaker bite is zone fire. Who would have thought? Let's see. At zero. Yep, that's an eight inch plus. Ah, it's all right. I got a few croaker. That's it. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. There we go. There's another croaker right here. It bit as I was dragging. Sometimes when the croaker are finicky, you really got to drag your stuff around for them to bite. You don't leave it in one spot. That is one of the secrets of the croaker. You can leave it in one spot, but you know, oh wait, is that really a croaker? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely an eight, eight inch plus. This is definitely an eight inch plus croaker, boy. It's not like trophy, trophy. Look at that. They're always spawning right now, too. Whoo! Croaker population is good. Got a hit over here. I don't know if the fish is still on, but. Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. It's a croaker, it's a croaker. So the school of croaker is one back. This is what the croakers do. Oh, wait, there's not a croaker, what? Man, I thought it was going to be a croaker, turned out to be a little black sea bass. Whoa, Centropristis istriata. Second species of the day, all right. Oh, bro, we already got enough of those in New Jersey. Yeah, my brother-in-law real busy over there. This rod biting, that rod biting. <laughs> Getting the fluke set up ready here. Oh man, he's having a blast. Oh yeah? He's got, I think he's got a croaker on. <laughs> oh man, you know when he gives the hook set of death, that his fish is gonna be on. <laughs> Very small. You don't think it's a croaker? Oh yeah, it's a croaker. You think it's gonna hit eight inches? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like, right? But when they come up and you put it on, put it on the tape. Don't feel anything at all. <laughs> it's like eight inches, you know? Nice. Uh, it's a Bergal. I knew there was going to be Bergal here. Trying to catch some Tau Tog. Little Bergal showed up. That's good though, using this cut bait. Man, I'm using 50 pound test. What are the dudes over here using, man? It's not like you need 100 pound to fish. Unbelievable. That pound test down there, man, it's gotta be at least 80 pound test. All right. All right, all right. Get it out, come on. What? How many lines are down there, man? All right, we just popped another line. Yo, what are people fishing here with? Let's check it out. I'm using 50 pound test. I mean, dude, there's gonna be at least a 100 pound test. You don't need a 100, dude, what the heck? No wonder. Yo, what, what the heck people are fishing here for? Oh, man, you don't need gear this heavy over here. Look, are you kidding me? This is a five plus. This is like an eight ounce, eight ounce, dude. I'm losing hope in the fishing community now. Oh, really? Are you Liam? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. My husband is a huge fan. Oh, yeah. 
I knew it was you. Oh, he okay. He watches you every day. Oh, every time. I am glad. I'm glad to hear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. we're from Philadelphia. What are you we doing moved, down here? We moved down to Delaware yeah. back in 2004. Oh, so, every, so now you live here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but every time you're like at the Schuylkill or whatever, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we're constantly wow. watching and we see gotcha, everything you do. Gotcha. I told Sorry. him when we parked the car, uh -huh. that's how you go I said that looks said, like him. I yeah, said, yeah, I was just giving a few cash, yeah. No, no. I had one cocktail blue, just to swipe at it, uh -huh. but didn't didn't get it. And I'm then for some croaker today, but it doesn't look like it's. Bad. Oh, we were here about three hours ago. Uh -huh. We caught about 20, 30 croakers. You're kidding? Yeah. Where? Again? But now that the tide is ripping, it's, yeah. too, it's too heavy right now. I caught only one about 30 minutes ago. My brother line is fishing there, and then I decided to go to the front to give a few casts. Okay. Yeah. Does, is anything bite, biting over there? No, no, not really. Okay. But once the tide slows down a little bit here, the croaker was like on fire right around this area. That's what I figured, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why we came back. He was like, oh, let's go back, catch some more croaker, you know? I was like, sure, Amazing. sure. Amazing. I'm a big fan of you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you for all the love and support. I yeah. keep looking over my shoulder. I was like, is that Leo? Uh, <laughs> yeah, is. yeah, I'm here only for three days. That's it? So I was yesterday at the Cape Henlopen yes. Pier, and then today I'm here. And then tomorrow, we will see. Yeah, who knows? Who yeah. Knows? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I've got to go back to fishing, well, yeah, but thanks for stopping by. It was a pleasure. Yes, thank you. you. Thank you so care. much. And hopefully, you catch some croaker, hopefully. you know? We're here yeah. till about 8 o'clock. So. I'm going to switch my setup to croaker again, see what happens. Oh, yeah. I just got another little bite, but the fish didn't take it. Oh, I got him. It's a croaker, I think. I got him, I got him. Yeah, yeah, it's a croaker. Uh, nice. nice size, nice okay, size. Nice. Yeah, very nice. All right, see you in a bit, bro. Yeah, this is one of the biggest ones of the day. It swallow it too, but I'm keeping this croaker, so it's all right. Nice size. Oh, I'm getting a hit here. Thunderstorm hit. We're getting some thunderstorm. Thunderstorm hits. The weather's changing a lot over here. I'm a little bit terrified. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's gonna start raining soon. Meanwhile, we're still getting bites. Oh, that's a black sea bass. A nice little black sea bass. Check it out, huh? All right, but this one's gonna be like 12 and a half inches to keep. So we're definitely not gonna keep this bass. The weather is changing real fast, guys. I really want to do a proper outro, but you know what? I think it is about time to go. I kid you not, look at this. Look at this. Oh boy, that's when you know it's coming. It's coming, it's windy, it's changing. So you know what, guys? Thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a wonderful two days down here in Delaware, Cape Henlopen, uh, Indian in River Inland. We got a lot of croakers today for dinner. And uh, yeah, I'm calling it a day. Oh man, it's definitely coming. Thunderstorm is coming, folks. All right, tie lines. I'll see you guys next time.